Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about five things which can actually hamper your scores in the CAT exam in the quant section. So these are the five things you need to worry about. Fine. So first of all, please download the paper from cating.com slash cat last year's actual paper so that you understand what I'm talking about. And if you have not yet solved, please solve this paper first. So number one thing which you need to worry about is modern maths. Modern maths means function graph, inequalities, maximum minima, logs, APGP series, all these topics combined which come as a part of modern maths is now valued at 11 questions. So more than your PNC, probability, geometry, numbers, all these topics which I've been doing all my life, suddenly the topic have shifted towards geometry, function, graph, all these things. So please download the paper, you understand what I'm trying to say. 11 questions were there out of 34 questions, which is almost one third of the paper based on modern maths. And these are the topic which is normally ignored by everybody. So if you have your friends giving the CAT exam, or giving the CAT exam last year, ask them how many of them have did, actually did modern maths in their preparation very few of them so this is your first target number one pick up the modern mass so by more modern mass i mean functions graphs inequalities maximum minima uh, modulus uh, apgp series set theory logs so coordinate geometry so these are the few topics around nine topics which are there in modern mass which you have to cover first because each of them is going to be there for one to two questions Take it. So number one is modern mass number two is the cutoffs you will find this thing in various uh, articles from various teachers. Cut off, itna hona chahiye, itna attempt karo, to ye niklega. My problem is when I'm giving the paper, I don't even understand how much I'm attempting. So how can I predict or how can I track my attempts in the exam? Which is almost impossible. Fine. Obviously, our in school days, we used to first solve the paper, complete the paper, then I used to count how attempt kitna hua hai towards the end. So if I'm counting towards the end, I'm just counting to get a number. I can't change anything in the end because last one minute I can just see how many of it I attempted. Exam may how I come to know. So obviously it's very, very uh, difficult to do that. So I'm going to upload more videos coming forward regarding how to attempt the paper on the exam day, D-Day strategy on that name for quant, verbal logic, all the three sections. So I'll talk about that in a separate part. But today, then the second thing here I'm talking about the cutoff. So to get 80 percentile, you have to get 10 question correct. For 90 percentile, 15 correct and 99 percentile is 20 question correct. How you attempt, how you manage is your problem but this is a number you have to touch. This means your speed is important. Up mock deke dekh lo. People think CAT is not a speed game. CAT quant section is a speed game. Because to do 15 question correct, for example if I want 90 percentile, to do 15 question correct, I have to solve minimum 18 to 20 questions. So that I can do 3-4 three, three, wrong and then finally I get a 15 plus correct. There was negative marking also there. Okay. So considering all those things this is a correct not attempt. 10 question correct 80, 15 correct uh, 90 and 20 correct 99 percentile is my thumb rule which you have to follow. So that's something you to track. Your attempt is not touching 15 if 90 percentile nahi aayega to IMG call obviously nahi aayegi. So need to work hard, work hard on that part as well. So that's my pointer number 2 is a cutoffs. So point number three is the difficult questions. In the CAT exam, last year CAT exam, there were around eight questions which were really difficult. Difficult means they are lengthy questions which are there to waste your time. My advice is very simple to avoid this question and keep them towards the end chayeto, so that I am able to solve the remaining paper and if time permit, I look at these questions because these eight questions will pull down your scores drastically. So out of 34, if I remove this 6 to 8 question, which, which left with 26 question, if I attempt 26 question, I can easily get 20 plus. So to get that marks, you need to improve your speed. Because I have many students who have come to me and told me that they couldn't do well in the CAT exam because they fumbled. They wasted too much time on a tough question. And every tough question will take our motivation level down along with that. And that's the main problem. Because if you're not motivated enough, you won't be able to perform in the exam. Take it. So all the difficult questions, wherever you see, whenever you see, try to mark them. Especially ingenious because we are used to maths. And especially if you have a favorite topic. For example, geometry is my favorite topic. If you give me a tough question of geometry, I would love to solve that. Because the ego issue. How can I, I, I can't solve it. So to avoid your ego, keep your ego towards the side when you're giving the CAT exam. This is my third pointer. Avoid the difficult question till the very last minute. Advice number four is to give last year a CAT paper quant section. Not immediately, but after two hours of studying some other topic. And that's the main problem. That CAT quant section is a four-third section. 
first one hour I'm spending on verbal I'm reading 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 you have to read almost 500 words per question 500 into 500 300 words per question 300 into 34 question almost 10,000 words per night in one hour after that I'll go to daily logic section which is the most difficult section of the CAT exam fine and I fumbled I did all those things day section last mark I quant that when the quant section is start your energy is already zero and you have to perform I have seen toppers who were very very good in quant but could not perform in the end because the energy was lost or they lost their motivation in DI section one of my very strong students last year she was from the Vashi branch she was almost she rejected IMS older IMS even older IMS I'm like now I'm cozy good because she was trying for IMABC and next year cat paper she fumbled up in the DI section so badly that she could not perform in the quant section only at all so this year, last year, she couldn't even get the call from the Lucknow and Koji code also. Finally, she joined XLRI. That's a different issue. But what I'm trying to say here is people will fumble. Because it's towards the end. But if verbal and DI logic is not good, so its ripple effect will be seen on the con section as well. Fine. So try to keep your, yourself emotionally away from the three sections. Section number one, one hour, what happened, go and do. Section number two, Joga Janedo, third section is the quant, then we'll focus on to that. Okay. So that's something you have to take care of. Pointer number five is the easy questions. More than a worry thing, this is something to be taken care of that in the last year CAT paper, in fact, this is happening for the last five years now, around 12 to 13 questions are very, very easy. As easy as a solved examples. Download the last year, but you understand that there was a question based on find f of one. In function graph, those who know function graph, f of 1 means all you have to do is put value of 1 and get the answer. So which is almost a solved example ka level. So 12 to 13 questions are going to be very very easy. Even if you are able to pick those questions, you can easily cross 80 percentile. Because the level of difficulty is up to the solved example ka level. So these are 5 things you need to take care of. Modern match number 1, cutoffs number 2, I have to plan myself so that I am able to reach that, that much cutoff. Number three, avoid the difficult question. Intentionally, they are speed breaker questions which are there to break your speed. Number four is your, that will create a problem because towards the end your energy will be less. And last thing, we talked about the easy question. There will be a lot of easy questions, you have to pick, pick them up. So pick up the low hanging fruit first. And trust me, if you're able to do that, you will score well. So these are the five things you need to take care of in the quant section when you're preparing for the, when you're giving the CAT exam. All right.